Hey guys, it's Stelita, uh here with another uh, video. Um, sorry about the uh, comically long opening there, but uh, I was uh, I th I thought it was amusing. Um, yeah, so today's video is a bit different because um, I've had this video planned since oh I don't even remember the year. But the point is. Um, uh, a YouTuber who really inspired me um, and got me into uh, customization way more than I was uh, ever before. Um, the the guy who basically made it possible uh, for me um, to make all the Hobbit customs that I managed to make and everything over the years and stuff like that. Um, when I really started to get into things was a guy called Glenn Webb, um, who sadly passed away um, you know, some years back now. Um, but, uh, it's insane that it's been, uh, years since it happened anyway, I was still living at home at the time, but, um, yeah, um, sorry, I met with my parents, but, uh, yeah, um, so he, um, was a huge inspiration and he was, uh, where I got the idea of using Milliput, uh, from, I believe, and, um, which works really well for customization. And one of the things I really enjoyed that he did was the Star Wars, sorry, not Star Wars, was the action fi uh, figure evolution or evolution or whatever you want to pronounce it as, uh, where he would take um, action figures from a, a series or, well, not a series, he would take a character and show you every single video, sorry, every single figure that was made of that uh, character. And the Wolverine one took three videos, for example. Uh, I really wanted to try around the time and make um, a Darth Vader one, but I did not realise there are like over 96, I believe, or something stupid like that. There, there, there's a lot of Darth Vader figures over the years. I thought I would be able to round it up, and I'm currently... Um, uh, I have a lot of stuff in storage at the moment, um, so I don't have all the Vaders I own with me, but I thought I would just do this video just for fun, I guess. Um, and I suppose a tribute as well to uh, a really good idea by Glenn Webb, which was the action figure evolution. So um, I don't have any special tricks. Uh, it's just me behind a, a uh, potato camera, as uh, Sean Head would say. Uh, but I thought I'd start off with that little uh, skit at the beginning there. I was going to cut it off. Uh, that that I just decided, eh, let's let's just keep going. <laughs> um, so to begin with, we have all the way uh back from what nineteen seventy seven, the original trilogy, uh figure um vintage line Darth Vader, and this figure has a vinyl cape, so it's actually quite a nice material to have, um, and he has five points of articulation with a swivel head, which I'm very cautious of swiveling because they tend to be, actually mine's not too bad, I've got two, I've got one in uh, packaging which just refurbished packaging um, and this one which is loose, um, but yeah he has a swivel head, swivel arms and swivel legs so you can get him to sit down in his TIE Fighter if you want him to, or TIE Advance, but you'd have to remove the vinyl cape first, um, I think I assume in packaging it came with this thing up, but it, I think most people, including myself, have it down uh, like so. Obviously Darth Vader has a cloak, uh, not a uh, trench coat, and I wonder if people uh, ever took this off and cut off, uh, cut a hole in and then stuck it back on so he'd have a cloak. He has the famous telescoping lights here, but I believe this one's undamaged. Um, so the way it works is that there's um, a slot in his arm, and you take your lightsaber, which is just this. This is extremely fragile. Um, and you pop it in the hole there, goes through. You could probably replace this with an actual red lightsaber if you really wanted to. But, uh, yeah, then it just comes out like that, so... Cool little neat idea. Um, I always thought that the, uh, vintage collection has a nice, unique look to it. It's not, you know, as high quality as 
the first figure I showed, which was uh, the last one I will show um, because it's my most modern Vader and most articulated and it's just amazing. Um, but yeah, that was the first ever Darth Vader action figure. Um, has a couple of hole pegs and his other hand, you know, you can wave to people. <laughs> so next up I have a Power of the Force figure. Power of the Force um, was a Kenner line as well. Uh, this figure is, according to the footprint, a 2000, uh, sorry, 97, 1997 um, figure, um, and he's really buff, isn't he? Um, he's got a thicker uh, lightsaber, if you've seen these these particular lightsabers, they're very basic in detail, but this one is actually thicker than your basic one, and his articulation is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points of articulation. People call it 5 points of articulation, but it's no, it's 6, because he's got a swivel at the waist. Um, Nice cape though, or cloak, uh, because it's uh, stylized uh, to swing back, and it's, it's quite a nice uh, way it's done. Also, it's attached, which I prefer with these Vader figures. So yeah, he has a swivel head, swivel arms, uh, swivel waist, and swivel legs. This particular Vader um, came as well, uh, with this uh, Palpatine chair, uh, which also comes with, because it's Palpatine, uh, or the Emperor, rather, it comes with this plastic um, Emperor, Luke, and Vader. So you can have your uh, duel um, from Return of the Jedi uh, with some Power of the Force buff, very buff figures. Uh, but yeah, that's the second Vader I own. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's just, you know, one of my original uh, figures. Next up, we have the uh, Power of the Force, is it? Was it Power of the Jedi still? It's still 97, it says Kenner on the bottom. So this one, which is um, a really nice Darth Vader. I wish I had this as a child um, because it just looks like such a good... Um... Sorry, I just need to plug my phone in. There we go. Hopefully that charges. Um, it's a nice figure, um, it's got everything you'd want for a Vader as a child, you know, you can have him, you know, just do that stuff or, you know. Anyway, sorry, let me explain. He has a uh, swivel head, swivel arms, well, yeah, swivel arms, and then the right arm has a swivel at the upper elbow, right there, cut joint, and a swivel at the wrist, because the wrist itself is removable to reenact when he has his hand cut off. He has a swivel waist, swivel legs, um, so he's obviously going to be standing, and his cloak's really nice because it just hangs down, it's you know, solid plastic, but it just hangs there and he should be able to stand because of that, yep. Um, so what's uh, cool about this is, yeah, that's the lightsaber I was talking about, he has a uh, removable helmet, and under there is Sebastian, is, 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 yeah, what is his face, um, Sebastian something? Well, the actor who played uh, um, Sebastian Sean or something, I, I can't remember, maybe that's right, maybe that's really, really off, um, has uh, the old uh, face under there. Nice uh, printing on the torso there, I really like the blue and green, rather than just have green and green, I think the blue and green just looks cooler. Um, again, it depends on what era Vader is, I, I suppose. Maybe the lights change, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you can take the hand, pop it off, there it is. Um, take the mask off, and have a deathbed confession Vader. <laughs> anyway, um, the next one up is the Death Star uh, Torture Droid Vader. Now, this one is um, slightly different because I've taken the... Um, he did come with a much nicer cloak and a much nicer uh, uh, skirt, but I've uh, swapped them with the Vader you saw at the end. But yeah, basically, um, this figure is worth getting simply for the cloak and the... Um, tunic which uh, sorry not to the um thing uh the uh skirt because you can see that it's it's solid black whereas this one i've always hated this material and as soon as i got my hands on one of these ones i was like yep i'm stealing your stuff uh he came with um this torture droid famous for torturing princess leia giving her an injection i guess you know maybe he was just trying to give her a flu shot you know maybe the death star has got lots of uh Parasites on it. We know it's got the Dianga, Dianga. I don't remember. This is not going to stand. Um, but yeah, here, here he is. He's got a lightsaber just uh, sculpted in his leg. There. He's got swivel head, swivel arm, swivel um, elbows, uh, swivel waist. I think. Mm, I yes, a, a little bit. Um, 
swivel legs, and that's it. You can't really get him to do much. He can, I guess, wield a lightsaber. This, my particular, I mean, this is a Revenge of the Sith lightsaber. It's a bad example if he even wants to hold it. Um, you could get him to do some poses, I suppose. Um, but not much without hitting himself in the face. But uh, if this was the first Vader I had, I wouldn't be too disappointed. Um, but uh, it's not the best. Um, it's got a nice helmet, though, for an Episode Four Vader style. Um, yeah, so this one also came with the um, Imperial officers on the Death Star, so the Death Star briefing. Um, but, uh, yeah, moving swiftly on, um, we've got... The Emperor's Wrath. Um, so, by the way, the previous figure also was re-released um, several times in several sets, I should have said. This figure is dated as 90... What did it say? No, 2001, apparently. Um, but I seem to remember it being... Um, oh, well, maybe this is a Power of the Jedi figure, then. If it says Hasbro on the bottom, I assume. Yep, Hasbro has bought Kenner by this point. Um, I believe... I assume the acquisition was in, in like, 99, or maybe it was 97, I don't remember. 98 would make more sense um, with the release of episode 1, but who knows. Um, so this is a nice figure, it comes with uh, the lightsaber. I've got the wrong hand, it's the same hand, but it's uh, black as opposed to clear. Um, so the idea is that um, the Emperor's uh, lightninged Vader, and it's got some cool lightning effect up here. So that's the lightning effect, and inside you can see... Vader's skull, which someone was pointing out online recently, that uh, you can't see it in there very well, it's hard to see. Apparently Vader has a broken neck, and I was saying, oh, well, are they saying that the Emperor broke his neck, or... No, they're saying that um, he has meta a metal spine system. I'm like, well, that's not that interesting, you're just saying he's mechanical, great. Anyway, so again, the same articulation as the previous figure I showed. Um, it's essentially the same thing really it's just um got a wider stance of different skirts and less ridiculous proportions so this is where they started to make things a little more less silly so he's got yeah just one arm that moves forwards and backwards swivel up at the arm swivel at the upper arm as well swivel at the wrist so it's removable and obviously the head there which has the uh little uh detail of the lightning you could put on um and it's got, you know, lightning bolts painted onto the helmet, which look really good. Um, and it looks like just from the film. A bit of an alien skull in there. You can't really see it too well. Um, even in person, it's kind of hard to make out where you can see the skull. And I'm not sure it does fit too well. But, uh, yeah, that's the Emperor's Wrath. Now, this is where the Attack of the Clones come into play. So this figure is from 2000... Did it say 2000? 2001, apparently. So this is the Saga line, I believe it was, um, vintage, sorry, not vintage, well, actually, no, the original trilogy collection, I suppose it could count as that as well. Um, but this one came with, um, I'm not going to get them out, with some uh, um, Bespin stuff for him to slash at, a pole um, that he cuts in half from the film. And he has a uh, retract, sorry, retractable, removable lightsaber blade. Perhaps this is the first um, version of removable lightsabers they had. I don't know, unless you count Darth Maul, I suppose, but the first metal ones they made. Um, so yeah, that's it's quite a pink blade, um, and this was my first Darth Vader figure, and I was always frustrated with it because he would break all the time and his cloak wouldn't stay on because it's a flimsy little thing that's just stuck on like that. Um, but his action feature is that he has a button on the back, and he swipes, which is a really bad idea to have a removable lightsaber blade swipe because uh, it, if it hits something, it can break. Um, but yeah, he's got a swivel head, swivel uh, arms, and swivel wrists, and a kind of, well, then there's a you know, device inside that preventing it, but it is a swivel, I guess, and swivel legs. So there's better articulation, but to some extent, not all the way, but he's got some decent hands. Also, um, he has magnet a magnet in that hand, so you can uh, get him to with that lightsaber like that but the point is that this hand allows him to do the uh come with me son or whatever uh to luke um and then literally the next figure following that one is essentially a remake i suppose but i say a remake it's very similar um and quite flimsy um at least mine is if i can get him to actually put his cloak on uh so this one comes from 2000 and 
three. It's very hard to make up the little plastic bottoms um, on the foot, but uh, you've got um, the same lightsaber situation um, with this Vader, um, and he has a removable helmet, mine's a bit loose, um, and this same, exactly the same cape, which doesn't fit as well because it's not moulded to the body, so it's a very foolish thing for them to do, and I tend to just give him a cloth cape. Um, but yeah, this figure, I don't think it has a removable wrist, nope. Um, he has a uh, swivel head, swivel arms, and this one goes up, and has um, a swivel there. It looks like you could rotate it, but you can't, you can have a swivel, and the swivel at the wrist, um, with a less um, well-held lightsaber hand, because the idea is the action feature is, um, you, I think, it's, is it already there? Yeah. You have him clicked into place, and you get him to throw the lightsaber. <laughs> wasn't very impressive, was it? Um, you know, if you will not be turned, then you will meet your destiny, and then Vader just throws his lightsaber, but not very well. So we get to do it from a bit of a POV. No, nope, throw it at me instead. So, I guess he backhands this lightsaber, so it's just... There you go. Uh, it's not a very good light, uh, sorry, Vader, um, head's a lot better than the previous, um, if you want to compare the two, uh, head sculpts, it's quite realistic looking, although I do think this one has some charm to it, another lovely gash on the back of the head, also yeah, some of the paint apps are better on this one as well, um, but yeah, moving on, we got to 2005, when Revenge of the Sith came out, now I don't have the basic, um, Revenge of the Sith figure, which was, God awful, but uh, I do have, as you saw in the beginning, um, this, you just have to pretend the string's not there, um, which uh, comes with this Vader. Um, this, again, I would have liked this figure as a child. Um, he has a really thick uh, lightsaber handle, all the Render the Sith figures tend to, um, which he can hold in his left hand, not his right hand, uh, because of the gimmick. Um, so. There's Vader. Um, I actually customised mine so he could hold it in his other hand by removing the end piece uh, and uh, sticking a hand on there. But, you know, I did that when I was a child. Uh, I say child. Younger. Um, yeah, the gimmick here is you got Vader. You have to take the cloak off for this, so a cloth cape would have been much better. Although this is a lovely moulded cloak. Just shove it over there. You take Vader. And you put him on the table. The surgery table. You can have it up, so they can be operating on him, or down like that. It doesn't really go in between, hence why I had to use some string to get it to do the movie thing. But, uh, yeah, it's not a bad Vader. Um, I think the colour is a bit off on the torso. They look quite blue. They're actually turquoise. Um, so this Vega's is cool because it has a removable helmet, and you've got um, one of the only Anakins uh, from... Uh, Revenge of the Sith um, in a Darth Vader suit, so that's, you know, freshly burnt skin. You take off this one, it's got his um, little arm there. Um, you can take off his wrist, and he's got some wiring in there. And you can take off both of his legs. So there's his boots and there's his legs. Put them back on the table. And there you go, you can carry on operating on him. And you can do the whole, uh, thing. <laughs> Seeing a child in me, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad Darth Vader for 2005 standards. Uh, it's not super articulated. Um, I should go over the articulation if I just, uh, give him his limbs back. So he has a... Swivel neck, swivel arms. This hand does not rotate because of the glove situation. This hand does, however, because of you can take it off. The legs move forwards and backwards, and the swivel at the waist there, although it's difficult to get the legs to move forwards because of the rubber, um, and the boots swivel. So they actually put in some effort um, making them pop in, hide the circuitry, and they do swivel. So it's not a terrible Vader, but it's not the best. Now, next up um, is the 
original trilogy collection uh, Darth Vader figure um, from a, a New Hope. And I say A New Hope, it does say Empire Strikes Back on the box, but the reality is this figure is actually uh, way more similar to the New Hope uh, style. Um, I think I've swapped out the hand on this one, to be honest, so he can't actually hold a lightsaber. Um, but he came with this basic one, and he has a little peg hole there, so you can take... If I have any spare Darth Vader lightsabers, just seeing Anakin ones, that's helpful. Uh... Well, I don't have any, that's helpful. Uh, you can take a lightsaber and plug it into his belt there. there you go. Um, yeah, it's got one of those big floaty capes. Uh, I actually took off the cape um, and took off the... Uh, silver neck bit because I wanted an episode 4 style Vader to look very similar. Um, so this one has a swivel head which goes up and down because there's a wheel in the head so you can look like Superman. Um, he has swivel arms and they do go out as well and the swivel cut joint at the arm which I hate and swivel at both of the wrists. Swivel at the waist, forwards and backwards leg movement, knee joint with a swivel below, and that's his articulation. So it's not a terrible Darth Vader figure, and it looks quite nice um, with that. It does look like an episode 4 Vader with the red eyes and everything. But uh, yeah, this was um, 2004, I think, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, 2004. 2004. It's part of that um, series, the original trilogy collection, which are a mixed bag, to be honest. But... Uh, I think this one does look good as a imposing episode four Vader. So next, uh, I've got two here because um, again, this this is the original. But this one is um, an episode five saga figure, but this one came in a comic pack with Darth Trachter. Trachter, I can't pronounce his name. I don't think it's ever said anyway. Um, but um, I have um, a episode five one, which again I've taken the robes. Uh, and the chain in this case. I've, I take the chain from episode 3 figure and the robes from the uh, uh, droid, uh, torch droid or Death Star breathing uh, figure and put it on this Vader. And this was my favourite Vader for a very long time. Uh, and I also gave him uh, the hands um, from the uh, episode, sorry, the um, Empire Strikes Back, this figure. Um, well, actually, I see this hand is from a different Vader as well because it's similar. Uh, but yeah, the couple of Power of the Force dash um, Saga collection hands. But yeah, he has a swivel neck and swivel elbows, swivel arms, swivel um, legs, uh, hinge ball at the knee, and then a swivel at the foot, and then swivel the wrists. And yeah, it's it's basic. But uh, for a while, this was my favorite Vader. Um, and yeah, I have two of them because I got um, the comic pack with Darth Trachter in and. You can see this helmet's way more shiny, and I think that's because I took it from a Legacy Collection one, and Darth Vader's head should be shiny. It should, it should, this isn't matte, but it should look more shiny than this. Um, you know, you should be able to see your face in Darth Vader's helmet. Um, so again, this one has that basic lightsaber. Um, they're always very small, these lightsabers, and uh, this Vader um, is... Um, unable to hold a lightsaber because they mold his hand stupidly and you can't hold it in that one either so it just becomes redundant so you have to use hot water or a hair dryer people use apparently um to you know make the hand tighter so that you could hold a lightsaber but for now he's unable to hold a lightsaber at all he just dropped it um then the next uh figure i have is a comic pack in infinites i think it is um 2000, uh, does not say in the, I think it's the leg. Does it say anywhere, 2000 something? Nope, it does not. But, uh, a quick look at, here's some free advertising for you. A quick look at, uh, JediBusiness.com will tell you that this figure is from Expanded Universe. 2007, there you go. Uh, his lightsaber's a uh, good uh, mould, and it's strong and fits in his hand nicely. He has a swivel head, uh, swivel arms, uh, swivel, sorry, 
he, uh, are they swivel? No, they're swivel. Swivel waist, um, his arms rotate and go forwards and backwards, his wrists rotate, his legs go forwards and backwards, and his swivel has a swivel uh, joint at the legs. Uh, well, you can get him to... I guess it, the only thing you could get him to do is that, uh, because he's got a hinge there. But uh, kind of pointless because there's no knee articulation. But this is a really nice stylized Vader. Um, it, it's reminiscent of the Macquarie style, but it's not. It's just, um, it's not actually it. But I never felt the need to buy a Macquarie one because I loved this uh, really edgy look. And it's from a comic pack um, that came with Princess Leia as a Jedi in the infinite storyline where the story is that Luke dies and so uh, Leia goes to Dagobah instead and becomes a Jedi and then faces Vader way earlier than Luke ever did. But what's really cool about this is uh, he's got battle damage and you can see there's a slice um, so you can take off the torso's um, armor there but uh, what's even and also you can take off his uh, wrist I suppose to reenact him getting his hand cut off uh, in both the comic and in the uh, uh, film you can do a bit of a ash thing there, uh, but what's really cool is yeah, if you take off the helmet It's Anakin Skywalker And it does look like it could be a I mean in the comic I don't know if they were going for it, but the style just makes me think well imagine if Anakin um, It does have that Sebastian Stan, but slightly Hayden Christensen. I really hope it's Sebastian Stan the guy who played um uh, let's just Google it. Why not? We got time, guys. Uh, Sebastian Sam. Sebast no, that's sorry. That's uh, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Um, Sebast who played Darth Vader? Who played Darth Vader? It was. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting this. Um, portrayed by Bonson and Chris Sebastian Shaw. There you go, Sebastian Shaw. See, <laughs> that's great, isn't it? I kept saying Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan is the Winter Soldier. Anyway, it has a Sebastian Stan, Hayden Christensen look to it. I think uh, with the yeah, episode two hair, but I think that's a really good idea if that is what they were going for. But yeah, I really like that figure, um, and the helmet is just so menacing. It even looks like uh, possibly Rebels. I would swap this out for a Rebels one. Um, then moving on, um, we have the another Infinites, which is this Vader, White Vader, who cannot hold a lightsaber either, so I need to do the heat thing. Also, you can see that there's red in the hand because the lightsaber must have melted or something in the heat. I don't know. But uh, yeah, he's got a uh, swivel head, which does go up and down because the wheel on there. Uh, shoulders go outwards, but awkwardly because of the cut joint there and so they go forwards and backwards swivel there uh, at the wrist and at the elbow i don't like these cut joints uh swivel at the waist there um forwards and backwards motion on the legs um ball hinge in the uh, knee there and the swivel below and so he's quite articulated and so i don't really mind that they've uh, given him this cloak because it doesn't really matter too much it's interesting that it's inside out as well um just so it gets a more of a matte look but uh yeah, it's ridiculous to think Vader would actually be wearing white, but he looks really stylized in the comic and ridiculous in real life. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Comes with a basic lightsaber for Vader. So, yeah, again, it's another one of um, those. Uh, if I can find one, just nick, nick it for someone else. I mean, this is the Dewey Infinite's one, but they're all like this. Um, nice figure, but that's about it. Now, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, I don't know what date it came out, but according to... Uh, where is he? 2008, there you go. Uh, 2008 Battle Damage Darth Vader from The Force Unleashed. He has a really nice tattered cloak. He's got a swivel head, a uh, swivel waist, a uh, swivel at both the arms, and actually it's got a hinge on them as well. That's impressive. They incorporated that. Um, elbow swivel as well as a joint um, and swivel at the hand. Uh, so it's with waist, uh, forwards and backwards motion on the legs, ball hinge joint at the knee, and the same at the ankle. Um, so this Vader is really cool because you can take off a portion of his helmet. I think it's just based off the PS2 game as opposed to the PS3 one and the Xbox 361 because Vader gets beaten up in a different way. But yeah, you can take off his helmet, 
you can take off his uh, knee guard, you can take off part of that suit there, and what's really difficult is taking off the torso piece there, so that comes off as well. Uh, I suppose you could take it off his limbs and hands and stuff, but yeah, it's a really nice tatty Vader. Um, so yeah, that's that Vader. Uh, just going through these quickly, I suppose, hoping I don't run out of time. Um, but uh, next up is the uh, second version of the Wrath of Vader, which is, uh, if I can get him to put his lightning effect on, does it work? This figure, I think that's how you put it on. Yeah, there you go. Very nice uh, lightning effect, basic lightsaber again. Cannot hold a lightsaber because of the action features on Ash Vigil. The, uh, the <coughs> excuse me, um, removable hand feature. But yeah, you can take the lightning off him, which is ridiculous, um, and pop with his hand. They did a really nice job with this one because you can um, see the uh, detail. Uh, it's not just a hand that comes off, it's like the previous ones, it's got the little wiring and stuff like that. Maybe some red would be nice in there and some black wires, but yeah, it does pop on nicely and come off nicely. So that's cool. And the head is a much better rendition of the older version. You can actually see the skull in it. It actually fits towards the helmet, whereas I feel the previous one um, did not do that so much. It was... Uh, if you compare the two, his skull actually looked like an alien skull because it didn't really match up to the eye line of the helmet, whereas this one, it's right there, you can see. And there's even scars on the skull, perhaps? I, I don't know. Um, it's hard to see, but uh, yeah, it's a way cooler version of that old one. And um, yeah, he's got the height and the gravitas that you want, but he's got a swivel head. Swivel arms, uh, sorry not swivel arms, uh, swivel with a hinge in his arms, hinged swivel at the elbows, swivel wrists, swivel the waist, uh, the legs go forwards and backwards, they've got a ball hinge joint in the knee with a swivel belief, nope, they're just a ball hinge joint in the knee, and the ankles are articulated with a swivel and a knee joint. But um, just a brief uh, note, uh, I don't have a legacy uh, figure of Vader anymore, but essentially they were the same as this. Um, so I'll just pop the head off of this one because I have a spare legacy head um, left over from a custom I was making. But uh, yeah, this is the version of the legacy one. So the legacy one, so the capes in the way, this is not going well already. Um, but that's a, there we go. Uh, it's just a swivel head with the removable upper part of the head. So you got that situation and then that comes off and there's, um, Sebastian Shaw um, as we found out and I can see that I've painted this up a bit because the details were very lacking in this one and I've copied the design of the uh, uh, older figure that I have of it but uh, yeah so that's cheating but it's still I guess basically a legacy one and again it has that robe that I'm not a huge fan of um, now just for fun there you go Sebastian Stan as a ghost. He can actually hold a lightsaber accessory, um, unlike his uh, counterpart of um, this Obi-Wan and this Yoda, which Yoda's fine, it's because he's not expected to hold anything, but uh, cane, a visible cane would have made sense, maybe, because it looks like it's mold too. But yeah, he came with a three pack, which came with these, and it came with this really nice, really nice base. I, if you're going to get this set, you're going to appreciate the base as well, but. Uh, um, as it um, is great for putting figures on. Uh, let's put like one on there. I do not remember who stood where. That seems to sit there. It's Yoda there. And Anakin there. There you go. Force Ghosts. And just for fun, uh, here's another Force Ghost of Hayden Chris and Anakin. And I don't really like this material, it's, it's it's just silly. So you can replace it with a basic robe, that's what I usually do, I just use a basic Anakin robe. But uh, yeah, there he is. Um, so that one has, uh, has a swivel head, swivel arms, and that's it, And it's because it's a bulky figure. Um, and this one is super articulated with a swivel head, sw um, ball hinged, 
sorry, ball hinged edge, ball um, swivel arm, so go forwards, backwards, up and down, 360, whatever, same as the elbows, swivel at the wrist, uh, swivel at the waist, I'm guessing this is reminiscent of Obi-Wan's garb, I think it's the same basically, swivel at the waist, um, forwards and backwards legs, ball joint at the knee and the ankle so it's ridiculously articulated for a figure that does not need to be ridiculously articulated unless he's going to be in episode 9 of Star Wars to uh, give us the business about uh, how annoying Kylo uh, Ren is um, and again this is technically Darth Vader here he is Anakin Skywalker this figure is uh, what is it 2000 it says 2005 on the boot that's really helpful um, but uh, we know that's not true. This Darth Vader um, is the vintage collection Vader. Um, really, really nice figure. Uh, darker robe. This actually is from a comic pack one. It's a bit tatty, but he does have a darker robe. Um, and he has a saw, sorry, ball jointed head, ball hinged arms, elbows, swivel at the wrists, um, diaphragm sort of, ab crunchy sort of situation going on there you can get him to kick like he does uh go forwards and backwards so he can sit down crouch whatever ball uh, so he's got a hinge uh at the waist there basically it goes forwards and backwards so really nice articulation on that and the same for the knee it goes forwards and backwards swivels and stuff like that and the ankles uh just go forwards and backwards um but yeah i think they were just trying to uh pretend it was 2005 because it did the whole kenner thing or whatever um, but yeah, this is a really lovely Anakin. Um, you know, you got your uh, better designed lightsaber, uh, which just clips in the belt there. And there is a uh, one that's not got a blade in, but uh, yeah, he holds his lightsaber basically perfectly. Um, but I tend to uh, swap out the uh, Revenge of the Sith um, Anakin's hands because I like them to always have an ignited lightsaber um, just so he can do dark deeds i suppose right so last but certainly not least my all-time favorite darth vader figure the revenge of the sith black series three three quarter inch action figure this figure is super articulated looks the part feels the part and it's just it's perfect basically um so he has a uh, no removable helmet or any gimmicky things like that. I did give him uh, some customization, which was basically I just gave him the cloak and the uh, lower robe or kilt uh, dress or whatever from that Death Star Vader. But yeah, his head goes up and that far down. Oh, pops off, but yeah, that's fine. Goes down and up and rotates, so it's got super articulated there. Arms, actually, you know, you they're actually so smooth on that, but they do go like that forwards and backwards, inwards, same as the elbows, and even the wrists have movement, this one goes like that, so actually what you could do is you could get him to deflect uh, Han Solo's laser blast like that, um, same for the other wrist, um, and uh, then he's got the diaphragm joint, the legs go out, so you can get him to kick or crouch, do a wide stance, and they go forwards as well, Ooh, but <laughs> that's one problem because it's uh, so articulated. Um, but yeah, he can do all that, basically. So he's got that super articulation, get him to sit in his spaceship. And then he's got the uh, ball jointed knees, which also swivel. And what's really great is obviously the ankle go forwards and backwards, and they kind of swivel, but ankle ro rocker pivot, which we all know Glenn Webb was a huge fan of. Uh, but yeah, this Darth Vader is just so good. Um Holds a lightsaber well. Never had an issue with him holding a lightsaber. I guess he could pose really weirdly like this if you really wanted him to. But yeah, that is the best Darth Vader figure in my opinion. Um, he came out according to his boot. Fifteen, two thousand fifteen. It's hard to read. Um. And he's Revenge of the Sith, so looking at uh, Jedi business, Revenge of the Sith, um, 14, 2014? Yeah, 2014. Yeah, so this figure, um, I got it in 2015, I think I got him. Um, really nice articulation, just looks the part. This is my default Vader. I like his oversized helmet. I love that it's got a shine to it because it's supposed to. 
Uh, he's intimidating. You can get him to kind of cross his arms. Um, the only issue I would say is that he doesn't have anywhere to place his lightsaber, I suppose. You could tuck it under his uh, belt, though, so that's not an issue. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, all my Vader figures, um, minus um, a few that I've left um, in storage. But uh, that's your best one. So uh, thanks. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is the longest video I've done for a while. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay subscribed <laughs> or subscribe. <laughs> Um, and uh, visit me on figurround.com um, dash deditor, that's D-E-A-D-I-T-O-R, not deditor, like this channel I think is, but uh, it's deditor. Um, uh, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.